Hey everyone, I'm going to do a quick little demonstration of the new application that is downloaded called Drag Thing. What Drag Thing is, is it's pretty much an alternative to the Apple Dock. It costs about $30. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now that it's probably not worth that much money. So let's take a quick look at it. You can see it on the left side of my screen, right over here. So um, right now this is called Drawler. Drawler form, like a, like a drawer. Is it drawer form or drawer form? I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter. So it means that it's kind of hidden, just like I have my dock hidden over here. The only reason I have my dock hidden is because I've been I'm using this over here. So it's kind of like yeah, have your dock hidden. So I have four layers: apps, media. I call this one iWork because it's got like just the stuff that comes in iWork, but also Microsoft Office in it and websites. I'm going to go through all these in a second. So, first, first let's go through apps. It's just pretty much all the apps I use the most, just like I have in my dock over here. And then you have your media. I mean, it's, the, the layers are kind of like kind of like stacks. See, I have media right here, which is it's pretty similar to the ones I have over here. Now, I don't have this rick really set up just how I like it yet because I just downloaded it and I just kind of put it together real quick. And then, like, for media, I have, like, GIMP. Like, all this, this is all the stuff I use to make media and then, like, to watch it and then make it. And then, like, my photos, the iPhoto. And I've already gone through that. And then websites. This is something the doc doesn't have. I'm not sure if you can put websites down there. I've never tried. So, I guess, say, I want to go to YouTube. You just click on that. You can see the name right here. Well, so I got a lot of stuff going on right now. I take a look. yeah, it's taking a second, and it just it pretty much loads up your YouTube. God, I got a my computer's lagging on me. All right, let's just go ahead and close. God, all right. <laughs> so it's it's got a lot of features to it. Like, I have a hotkey just to, like, put it up in a way. And, like, what I really like about it is that it just has all your apps, like, just set up real nicely right here instead of just, like, always up there cluttered up. So I can just... And what you can do is you can just... I'm not going to click on it. Just move it over there, and it opens the app. So if I move it over there, it opens the iWork. If I just go like that real fast, it opens what you want. So let's go ahead and let's look at the... um like the customization on it you can view it as like different size icons I don't like to do that because it's not a great app and it messes it up and it's kind of hard to put it back how you like it and then so you can add new URLs easily just by like typing in the URL like right here it's name URL and it just shows up with the rest of them and then you can rotate it I guess I'll rotate it for you just to show you what that's like and you can put it down there I'm going to rotate it back, and then, alright, you can just clean it up just like you can in the finder, if you get like a lot of apps, it's out of place, it'll clean it up for you. Now the dock options, it comes with a ton of options, like choices for you. You can make them bigger and smaller, you can give them more spacing between each one, but what it doesn't like space out between it, it kind of spaces like and it goes up. Like that's not what I like. That's like that's something they should fix, I think. You can change the appearance. Right now I'm using a theme I downloaded called Simple One. I forgot who made it, but he did a good job. I give him kudos for that. You can change the fonts around, I don't like to mess with that. The drawer. And you can like change how fast it goes away. Like the animation for it. Or you can make it a lot slower. See, it's kind of nice. It's nice and smooth. And then you can move it at the bottom, so it's just like right. So it's like right there, you see. And it comes out like that, but I like having it on the left. And you can pretty much put it wherever you want, like the top too. You can click on it. But I'm gonna keep it to the left. All right, and you can click at screen edge, all that kind of stuff. You can change the like. Trans translucency on it, so you can pretty much make them look like the little icons. Make it 
and then you can uh, make that like disappear if you want. I like to keep it how it is. Oh, and it can, yeah, it stays there during. See, it never moves during show windows expose. Hotkeys. I have this is my hotkey just to like see. I think I've already showed you that. And then your advanced features are. I mean, you can read through them if you want. See, I like to keep it to full path and current. I don't even know what that means, but it just came kind of like set on it. I like the single clip click because I like I don't like the double click. And it's, it's basically it for these functions. Now I'm gonna go through my critiques on it pretty much, real quick. All right. So what I love what I love about the dock is the genie effect. Like, and it makes the abs look so much like so smooth and it's crisp when you're doing this. And with over here, it's just oh, instead of that, you just got like a little flashing light right here. It's, I mean, if they could do that, I would definitely use it more over the dock. If they had that and they made it just a little more functional, and if you could put icons for your website right there, and it would be pretty perfect if they could just change that up. But overall, I mean, it's a pretty good app, not worth thirty dollars. You can go ahead and try it out if you want and see if you find a better use for it. And it's got a lot of hotkeys, which I think are supposed to kind of just be like how like um, Quicksilver is used. But if you with those two apps put together, it makes your speed of your functionality on your Mac a lot better. But I guess that's it for it, for this app. It's called Drag Thing. You can find it at dragthing.com. Thank you. Subscribe to my videos if you like this one. And check the rest of them out too. Alright, so see you later.